everyone. I hope you're doing well. This reading is for Cancer. So if you have any Cancer placements in your chart, this reading is for you, whether that be Moon, Sun, Rising, Venus, Mars, wherever that placement may be, this reading is for you. Happy belated birthday to Aries and happy birthday to Taurus. Happy full moon energy, um, which is working on yourself, letting go of things that no longer serve you, situation, persons, or even emotions, or maybe your own actions, things that you're doing that no longer serve you, letting go, letting go of that and growing from it, okay? Um, Cancer, your overall energy is, um, what I'm getting is making a choice to go into working on something that's going to help you build the abundance that you're looking for whether it be in a relationship whether it be with your finances or your foundation it's really working together to build about you know build that foundation okay the first card you got out is justice in reverse something is unbalanced you're feeling like something is not balanced or maybe something is imbalanced in your life or justice wasn't served or you feel like um, things are not working out the way you hope them to work out, okay? Um, you get the Eight of um, Swords in reverse, and that's really trapped in your own mind, okay? You're trapping yourself in your own mind and your own disillusionment, and you're not letting yourself see things for what they really are, or you're not really seeing things clearly, okay? Then we have um, the Knight of... Not the Knight of Cups, that's after this card. Then we have the Three of... Um, ones in reverse and that's really not things not coming out the way you hope them to come out things that you have planned to have you know not really met up to your expectations because you're in this in your in this mindset of yourself of feeling trapped okay so you need to get out of that mindset and really open yourself up to see the greatness in everything and really open yourself up to the possibilities without feeling trapped in your own mind of not making you know a move forward okay then we have the Knight of Cups. And the, I feel this is you. This is you going out and um, looking for what's going to bring you that passion, that happiness, what's going to create that passionate side of yourself, you know, what's going to help you release yourself to the, so that you can move forward, okay? So really moving forward in a passionate way, making a decision to really um, know exactly what it is that you want and need and moving forward in that direction. I'm going to read this card. It says, Brilliant, experienced, humorous, judgmental, releasing situations or people that no longer serve us is also Queen of Swords. Um, seeing the humor in difficult situations, focusing on career, and it's you know a card that talks about a divorce or unmarried individual. So this is really focusing on what it is that you want and need, letting up go situations that no longer serve you. Okay, and you know you going passionately in a new direction after you know this choice that you need to make. Okay, and then it is a three of pentacles and three of pentacles is building with others and maybe going into an area where you're going to feel like you know you can work with others you can build you're going to feel that what you to do something that you like maybe you know because you see she's creating this this statue here and she's really into it so maybe going into an area that you're going to feel fa passionate about is going to increase your coins and your abundance or going into a relation that you feel passionate about is going to increase your happiness and also increase your abundance okay and it says here, do what you love, recognition for the highest quality of work, especially creative endeavors, being paid well for your craft, work, working well with others, and excellent reputation. Okay, so wonderful reading here. Um, also pulled out the elf cards for you also, so I'm going to go over that reading. First card you got is just feeling stagnant, not knowing which way to go, feeling stuck in a situation, or feeling maybe stuck within yourself, right? you stuck within yourself and you need to do things for yourself. Um, to really, um, you need to pull yourself to get out of that. And that's almost the same part like you have here, stuck in your own entrapment, in your own mind. Here's you stuck. There's, you know, you're stuck with these inside yourself, not being able to make a move because you haven't made that choice within your own mind, okay? Then we have the Seven of Cups, and this is um, an news, you know, being an illusion, thinking you're stuck, but you're really not. You need to get out of your mind, right? So there's like an illusion here. This illusion is being stuck within your mind and not helping you move forward because you're stuck and you're not making those choices to move forward, okay? Um, you're going to get the strength to move forward, though, because then after that you have the Eight of Elves here. And the Eight of Elves is about really getting direction from the universe, from God, and getting the strength to move forward and get out of your thoughts, get out of whatever's um, keeping you entangled in your thoughts and keeping you stuck and moving away from that situation 
and moving forward. So you're going to be moving forward and being guided by universe. And you're going to take a leap of faith and do things differently, right? So you're going to move forward with strength into a new direction, right? And a, a, with, with doing that and getting out of your mind and not being stuck in your own thoughts, you're going to see that there is an offer here. There's a page of pentacles. Page of pentacles is really about an offer of growing your, your abundance an offer or something small that comes in that's going to help you grow your abundance and, and bring that passion that you need and maybe, you know, bring that happiness that you're looking for. So a page of um, pentacles is really a slow-moving energy, but this slow-moving energy is actually um, a reliable energy because when it's when it comes to the pentacles, it's earth. Earth is very, you know, stable and stern. So this is an abundant energy or abundance coming in stable that it's going to take a little bit of time but it's coming in it's coming in for you to make the choice to move forward in a new direction okay and you're going to go like this old card for the elves is the fool you're going to go and leap into this new endeavor this new situation or relationship or whatever it is that's going to help increase your abundance your happiness your pentacles you're going to go in like the fool and then you can see the fool here he's playing with a butterfly he has his pet dog at his side and there's a female right, you know, in the background there. And he's happy. He's just moving along. There's a spider here by his leg. And he's not even caring about the sp spider. He's there with his dog. He's not caring about the spider. He's just looking at the butterfly. And he's just taking a leap of faith into a new direction. So this is your overall energy cancer for this month. I hope it resonated with you. Um, your cards, your oracle cards, the first card you got is Moonstone. Live your purpose, okay? So we're going to read that. It's the Moonstone. Live your purpose. Um, let me find it first. Mm -hmm. I think I can find it. Oh, I think I passed it. Oh, okay, here it goes. It says, life is a journey. We each have a unique calling to find our own way along a path, right? To a more... Purposeful, purposeful life. It is time to discover a deeper meaning within yourself and ensure the actions you take and the choices you make are in fact intentional and purposeful. How can you make a difference? What can you contribute? What is your legacy? Follow your heart as well as your conscience. Just like the moon waxes and wanes, you may feel at times as though you are getting closer to and then further from your true purpose. When you know you walk on the path when you know you walk on the path toward your highest purpose, you feel fulfilled each and every day. Okay. That's a beautiful message. It says, core questions to ask yourself. Why, why am I here? What is my purpose on this planet? What would it feel like if I was living my highest purpose? And then it says, aff affirmation. I walk, I walk my path with purpose. And it says, today, write down three things your life would look like if you were living your purpose. Then take action toward one or more of these values. So just taking actions, not being stuck in your own thoughts. Again, you got the same message. Then it says, honor and trust your feelings. It says, this is a prayer to Archangel Michael. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for supporting, guiding, and protecting me as I listen to and act upon my feelings. Help me understand and express my emotions with love. Wonderful message for you, Cancer, for this month. I hope it resonated with you. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.